Hello IT Pros and welcome back to my IT Workshop. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the hard drive of a Dell all-in-one 9030. As you can see here, the computer, as you can see here, the computer I'm going to work with, it's this one. And one of the things I like about this kind of, uh, about this model in general, is that everything is in one place. So the motherboard, the monitor, the hard drive, the RAM, everything is in one place. So uh, another thing is, since we're going to be pressing the, the screen against a surface, make sure that flat surface doesn't have anything, So because it might damage your screen. So to, in order to uh, do that, we're going to remove this stand. There is a, a button you cannot see here, but you can feel it with your finger. And you just have to press it. So that, that way you're going to release the stand. So once you have released the stand, this model doesn't have screws. So you have to gently um, take it out. So it works like you have to press it to secure it, but now you have to take it out very gently. As, as, you, can, as you can see me doing here, I'm trying to uh, push it up. So that way you're going to hear the holders inside uh, unlock it. So that way you know you you are doing it correctly. But again, if this is the first time you're doing it, don't rush out, don't do it in a hurry because you might break one of the holders and that's not going to be good for you. As you see here, I'm trying to release all the holders. I, in this part, I should have to do it more gently, but uh, it came out in the end. So as you can see here, this is the, the whole computer. On the left, you have the CD DVD reader or writer. You have some fans and everything is covered, as you can see. If, you, if you're here just to upgrade, let's say, the, um, the RAM, you only have to take out this small, this small cover, as I'm going to do right now. But uh, if you need to do more, like in this case, replacing the hard drive, you have to take out this, all this right cover. So in order to do this, you have to press this small button, which I'm doing with my left hand, but I don't have enough, let's say, strength to do it, and I don't want to break something. So I'm just going to use a screw, a screwdriver, I'm sorry. And we are going to more easily take it, take it out. So I'm trying to press it down, but I realize I need more strength on the right. You can see here with my finger, I'm pressing that kind of clip. And now, with the help of the screwdriver, I take, took it out. Now you can see the processor and the hard drive. And the way you have to take it out is you only press this blue kind of belt around it. And you take it out. That's pretty much it. It's very simple. Next, you have to um, take out this... Uh, Envelopment, this belt that protects the hard drive, and it's really easy to do. Just, just take it, take it out. And now I'm going to replace my hard, my mechanical hard drive with an SSD. As always, I'm going to use PNY because uh, it's uh, affordable. This one is 120 gigabytes, and because it also comes with the basic uh, Acronis license. Uh, with which we can create backup for our computer. So now we have put back the blue belt. We put back the hard drive in the same way that we took it out. And that's pretty much it. Now we put back uh, this big, co big cover. And the only thing you have to make sure is that you press it and you're going to hear a click. So that way you know it's secure. Now it's not moving anymore. And here comes, let's say, the, the most difficult part. Re put it back, putting back the external cover. So I tried to do it from bottom to top. So I started from the bottom uh, of, of the computer. Here's where the serial number goes. And I tried to do it that way. But I'm going to have some problems doing it, and then I'm going to do it from top to bottom. So as you can see here, I'm trying to do it. And the way you secure this is by, after you put it in the right position, you have to press it down. So that way the holders are going to be locked again. I'm going to uh, 
strain this one more time. If this is the first time you're doing this, take your time to take it out and put it back because again, you might break one of the holders and that's not going to be good. The computer might, don't, might, might not stand correctly if that happens. So you see me here struggling. I couldn't do it from bottom to top. So I decided to take it out again. And now I'm going to start from the top. So I'm going to show you here one of the holders or locks that have to match with the ones on the top or actually all, the, all around this cover. So I'm starting from the top and make sure they fit to each other or in the right place. And now I'm going to, to start pressing, pressing the cover down. Again, very gently, don't use uh, um, much strength for this because you might break one of them. So as you can see me doing here, I'm pressing it down, I'm hearing the clicks, so I know everything is going as planned, or as it should be. Once I have finished, I don't hear more clicks, I try to take it out, as you can see here, if something fails, but nothing does. I'm making sure everything is correctly attached, and once you have made sure of that, you are good to put uh, the stand back. So uh, you just make sure you put it correctly. You see me do here, and you press it down. You hit the click, or kind of a click. That's it. And now comes our final test. I lift it, and it's not coming out. <laughs> that's a, that's a good sign, of course. And now uh, I'm going to turn it over, and I'm going to clean it a little. So that's what I wanted to show you guys. Uh, this is really, uh, I mean, with a little practice and if you take your time, this is a really um, easy fix to do or easy replacement. The next step I'm going to do uh, is install Windows again and all that. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, please leave a like. If you have any question or comment, leave me in the comment section below. And if this is the, your first time in this channel, feel free to subscribe. Thank you very much and I'll see you in the next one.